In this video, I'm going to talk about variable naming conventions, a very important topic. So you should keep your eyes on and try to understand this topic really well so that you can apply this naming convention later on in this entire course. Now, naming convention basically refers to follow the best practices that you should use when you are naming your variables. Now, let's think about the scenario. You are working in a project and there are four team members like you have four members in your team. And in this case, somebody decided to name the age variable like this. So think about one team member thinking to use the variable like this, another one thinking to define the age variable like this, other person is thinking to define the variable like this. So you have different, different people. Then other person is thinking, okay, I'm going to define the variable age like this. So you have different people, different thinkings, but when you're working in a team, everyone should follow one standard procedure to name the variables and also should follow all the best practices that will help others to understand the meaning of the variables. So here are a few points I'm going to write down for you. So next time when you are going to re uh, name your variables, you can follow these best practices. So here we are talking about variables naming conventions. OK, so what are the best practices or what are the things you need to remember when you are naming your variable? First point, make sure your variable is meaningful. So it has to be meaningful. OK, that's something you should always remember. Now, think about this scenario. If I use something like this AG, do you understand what's the purpose of this variable? No, it is not meaningful. But when I will just write it like this, now it's meaningful. So remember to use meaningful variables. For an example, here I'm going to use a variable called name for an instance where I want to store somebody's name. Now let's be more specific here. If I think about I'm going to store employee name, I can say it here. It's going to be employee name or it can be student name. So this time it's more meaningful than just leaving it just as a name. So instead of name, I'm using student name, which is more meaningful for sure. And then second, uh, uh, my recommendation will be for you, do not use single characters. Well, except for loop something or uh, except in the loop for iteration, this is something will come up later on, but try to avoid the single letters when you are naming your variable. So avoid single letters. That's what I want to say. So at this point, if I try to declare a variable like this, which is completely valid variable, there is no problem with that. But again, it's not meaningful and it's very hard to read. What was the purpose of this variable? No one can understand in my team. So that's why I'm going to use as much as descriptive possible. So try to be descriptive. Again, you have one more recommendation from me. Try to use descriptive names as much as possible. And the next thing I'm going to tell you, which is a very important topic for any programming language, it's something how you should write your variables because previously you saw there are some like different combination can be even for the age variable somebody can be uh, like declare the variable completely like with the capital letters somebody can use only the small letters somebody can let's say use small and capital mixed up something like this so how can we avoid the naming things like this so that it doesn't happen like this actually so everyone following one simple or best structure or standard structure when they're going to name the variables. So everyone needs to follow one standard rules here. Now you can use camel case. This is a very commonly used naming convention for uh, naming your variables. So if I give you one example here for the camel case and then you, you can understand it. Let me show you here. So think about this. You want to say age. Everything the, for this word will be in small letter, which is fine. But let's say you want to so you want to say student age. That's the target that you want to define a variable just like this student age. So you are thinking you want to declare a variable called st student age. Now you have two words here. So what is the camel case thing is going to happen here? How you can apply the camel case rules? What do you have to do for the first word? Everything will be small letter. But when you are starting the next word, if you have multi word, then use always start with a small letter, you know, the lowercase letter, which is fine for the first word. But when you are coming for the next word or all the subsequent word, try to use the first letter as capital letter. So here, what do I mean by that first word student will be in small letter. But when you are starting the second word, remember to use the capital letter here. 
now if i have more words for an example like this demo for an instance you can see i'm following the camel casing just like a camel so i'm starting with the capital not with the small and here it increased the readability immediately you can see there are three different words student age demo but you are using as one variable so it makes more sense so again i'm repeating for an instance let me go at the top i want to say employee age here so in this case probably you will think something like this but if you use camel case then remember the first word will be small letter everything will be in small letter but when you are studying the subsequent letters or subsequent words or later on if you add more words to the variables then try to start with the capital letter that's all again i can do the same thing for this one here i can say monthly salary here and remember the next uh, letter s it has to be in capital letter same goes for this one i will say blood group remember how to use camel case just make sure the G is capital here then I'm going to say yearly bonus here there you go and I'm going to change the small b to capital b or lowercase b to capital b here that's all uppercase now I hope you can see already I'm following the best practices here so again meaningful try to about single letters try to be descriptive as much as possible and try to be consistent so if you use camel case everywhere try to use camel case in your code base do not try to mix up with some other cases like there can be snake case which is something i'm not going to discuss here so there are different type of like naming convention you can follow but you have to stick to one convention at all uh, every time in your code base so if you are using camel case everywhere try to use camel case that's all now the next thing what I wanted to say here, uh, well I didn't write it, you have to use the camel case format. If you are using everywhere try to use it and be consistent everywhere. So this is the next recommendation I wanted to say consistency is very important for anything in your life. Consistent. Okay. That's all. So I hope now by using this variable naming convention from now on you will always remember do not try to declare a variable with a single character try to be more descriptive try to be more meaningful and try to be consistent everywhere if you are following the camel case follow camel case everywhere now of course I need to make some adjustment for sure well I will just copy and paste instead of this age I need to write employee age instead of monthly salary I have to make adjustment here monthly salary and then for the blood group I have to write here blood group and same goes for the yearly bonus I have to fix this bonus and change it to yearly bonus that's all I hope this makes sense and if you want to run this program so sometimes it looks like okay you are you know making it too long but remember others will be able to read your code more better if you are working in a team everyone can understand the purpose of this variable quite easily and they can work with you so easily and of course here everyone is following one sing a single structure or best convention or st standard here which is the camel case so no matter how many variables whoever is going to declare they will follow the same structure that you have already defined which is the best practice here for sure so let me run this program and let's see what happened here you can see everything is working completely fine